Um, well, I mean, I think you're right. I mean, thinking about trying to use something that is potentially not drug, a drug first. And I think one of our issues is sometimes when we diagnose, you know, sort of, and sometimes when, it, when by the time they get to the vet, it's beyond the stage where we may be able to just do non-drug. Mm -hmm. But if owners are thinking about it, or if they know that their pet has does have the days where they're not great, um, then thinking about maintaining their exercise, maybe swimming, all of this sort of thing, I think is really important. I think probably a big thing for me, I had a lab, my first Labrador, um, he was um, nine months and had hip x-rays and the radiologist said, there's evidence of him having issues, having hip dysplasia. She said, well, I sort of asked for some advice and said, what should I do? And she said, well, main thing is just to be consistent. And I was always very aware for him that maintaining his muscles, so giving him good exercise, but not overdoing it, maybe making sure he's um, swimming, keeping him slim. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually, I've had a lot of Labradors in my life and some people actually ask me what breed they are because they're so slim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am an absolute fanatical about keeping my dogs. Yeah, I am too. I get told that Luna's too lean and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> no. So, I mean, I think, and that, he, that he was name was Lester and um, he in the end had another condition towards the end of his life, but he never showed any signs of lameness until right near the end. And I'm absolutely convinced that's because everything else that we were doing with him, exercise, swimming, he did quite a lot of swimming, um, keeping him slim, all meant he didn't progress or his, he didn't have the, not maybe not the pain, the discomfort that needed treating with other drugs. Mm. Obviously I would have given them to him if he needed them, but trying to steer away meant that when he did need them, he could have them and it wasn't always long term. Mm. So, and I think sometimes trying to make people think, well, we may need drugs for a short term, but then still it's always the lifestyle stuff that's going to keep them going for 